In this video, I'm going to show how I set up a backup internet system or failover internet system so that when my Comcast cable goes down, my Starlink satellite internet takes over automatically. It's based on a TP-Link ER605 version 2 VPN router, which sounds fancy, but it's about $60 on Amazon. After plugging in the power cord, the first thing you do is connect the router to your computer using the Ethernet cable that came with it. Once it's connected to the computer, pull up your web browser and type in 192.168.0.1 to pull up this login screen. You can enter any username and password you want. And once you do, hit confirm and that will be your login credential for the router. Once you're logged in, go to this page and click on those two little boxes to make the first two Ethernet ports on the router into inputs for your internet lines. You want to click the one that says WAN and the one that says WAN slash LAN 1. And those two will turn pink in the little diagram below it. Then go to the load balancing page under the transmission menu option and click the little box that says Enable Load Balancing and hit Save. Then on the same page, click the Link Backup tab across the top and then click on this little icon. That will bring up this page where you can actually set the primary and backup internet. So on this page, click the little drop down menu next to primary WAN and pick WAN WAN. Then click the drop down menu next to backup WAN and pick WAN slash LAN 1. Then fill in the little circle that says failover, enable backup when any primary WAN fails. And at the very bottom, hit that or fill that little box in that says enable. Then click OK. Once you've done that, you can disconnect the router from your computer and hook it up like this, where port number one has your primary internet connection, port number two has your backup internet connection, and port number five goes out to your wireless router. You also want to set both of your routers to bridge mode. On the Starlink, it's very easy. It's in the app. It's called bypass mode in Starlink. So you just do that on the app very easily. For all other modems, you just have to look up how to do it on Google or with the instructions that come with it. Once you've done all that, you should have one Wi-Fi network in your house that has an automatic backup in case the primary internet goes down. It should be seamless and you, you should never notice that it's even happening. Just a few final comments. The first is about Comcast modems. They can create networking conflicts even when they're in bridge mode. So you might consider getting a designated cable modem that doesn't have a router in it, like the one listed there from Motorola. If you still have problems, you can go on the TP-Link website and use their real-time chat support. It's actually pretty good, uh, and they can walk you through whatever you know configuration issues you're having and, and help you get it set up to work right. And then finally, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, I had a company called Remo Group, R-E-M-O, put my uh, Starlink on the roof of my house and wire it through my house, and they really went the extra mile. So if you're looking for a Starlink installation in the Bay Area, the Remo Group is the one I would recommend. I hope all that helps. Good luck.